Leg three of the Moors Millions is next to three more five vert furlong version. Nought to one forty at the top. Marazzi on Darren Thompson. Silent voices. Graham Clutterbuck. Blossom World. David Hooley. Murty's Pride. John Morgan. Finding Alice Martin. Then Shambury Mulo. Alex Cherry. Tayside Tiger. Matt Cooper. Tower Hamlets. Or Graham Clutterbuck. Uptown Lady Jim Murray. Keep the contract. Craig Beckwith. Lady Sharona. Alex Cherry. Penelope Pitstop. Martin. Then Hot Springs wins. Vinnie Gerard, Donna Bin, David Robertson, El Centro, Barbie, Vinnie Gerard, and Greenock Islander. For Matt Cooper, they're away and racing. On a few long distance chases this week. And I think this is the only Moors Millions, unless Gray's got one of these next lot of races that are coming up. They're all safely over the first. And Tower Hamlet is the only leader. And now Murty's Pride has been driven up on the inside. They've got two complete circuits of the track to go. Two of these trying to get their qualification for the two finals at the end of the season in early. Scratching around in week 10 or whatever, trying to get in if you're not in yet. And all safely over, th over the third. This is the fourth, which is, oh, this is the third, this is a ditch. Over the first three. With the film getting quite well strung out already. And Tower Hamlets is in the lead from Murtis Pride in second. And Donna Bin is third, with Marazzi on the top weight, and Lady Sharona. Grey on the near side is Finding Alice as they get over the next. And Greenock Islander is the one who's just struggling a little bit at the back. But there's a long way to go yet, and Tower Hamlets may be going just a little bit too quick. Murty's Pride, one of those John Morgan front runners, is going to join him as they head to the sixth and uh, Murty's Pride got in a bit close to that one but jumped it okay and also if you it's nice to see John Morgan back with a decent sized stable for the first time for a long time as they get over the seventh and over it they go with Tower Hamlets in front Murty's Pride second gap then of four lengths or so to Donna Bin who's in third as they get to the eighth and it's coming up thick and fast so they get over the next one, 23 to take in all in this one, and Murtis Pride has now gone back up into the lead again. On Tower Hamlets, Marazzi on now just poked its head into third, the top weight. It was difficult for the top weights in these long distance races, long way to carry those big weights. Murtis Pride, to be fair, isn't that much lower, number four. Murty's Pride in front, Tower Hamlet second, and Marazzi in his third, Dollar Bin four, Lady Sharona wide on the track in fifth. The stablemate to that one, Strawberry Moulin, is more to the inner. The one that's really wide is the second, Graham Clutterbuck horse, Silent Voices, Penelope Pit Stop in the purple and white stripes is also quite wide, as is the other grey that's out there, that's Jim Murray's Uptown Lady. The other grey finding on this is down on the rail with Tayside Tiger behind her, then there's a little gap to a line of four, including the two Vinnie Gerard horses, Hot Springs wins, and El Centro Barbie, and David Hooley's Blossom World, and the um, Craig Beckwith horse, keep the contract, the one that's really struggling is Greenock Islander, and that one is a good ten lengths off the nearest horse in front, and I would guess may well give up the ghost at some point in a race this, this long and in fact he's given up the ghost already, I don't know if it fell or it pulled up, but it it went into that sort of greyed out colour so quickly on suggesting it may have fallen. But anyway, it's Murty's Pride who's in the lead. From Tower Hamlet's in second. As they get to the 11th. Which they all get over. Dollar Bin and Lady Sharona have now come out of the pack to virtually make it a lead in four. Although Murty's Pride's got a two length advantage as they take the fence, it'll be the last on the next circuit and Murty's Pride is now pulling away four clear by itself so passing the winning post then it's going to be Murty's Pride that's going to lead them out onto their final circuit with a four length lead over Tower Hamlet's back in second then Donna Bin on the inside is third Lady Sharona on the outside is fourth then a gap to the rest of them are headed by Silent Voices wide on the track and finding Honest down on the rail with in between them top weight Marazzi on as they take the 13th which they all get over okay well, the one or two are a little untidy towards the rear, this is a ditch and they need to really attack that one's a fall there, Penelope Pit Stop's gone and so too is Lady Sharona so two down at that one it may have been Lady Sharona that fell first but 
Lady Sharona and Penelope Pitstop stop both out at that one as they get to the 15th. Which the rest of them get over nicely with Murty's Pride in front. Tower Hamlet's back in second. Donna Bin third. And Silent Voices wide on the track. Just giving away a bit of ground going wide is next. Finding Alice ran straight through that one just as she was starting to make a bit of ground. Tayside Tiger going past her. As they come into the 17th and Murty's Pride landed well clear in the lead. Mistake there by Uptown Lady for Jim Murray on the wide outside. Over the next ditch, that's number 18. And there's another one gone there. Marazion's gone. So the top weight falls on oh, Darren Thompson. And Murty's Pride's definitely got this field thinking about this as they get into the 19th. The pace is pretty hot. Tower Hamlet is second. Donna Bin is third. There's a big gap to the wide running. Silent Voices and El Centro Barbie's also running really well, but they're making a bit of ground and some odd jockey manoeuvres today. Finding Alice is sticking to the inside and is making up a bit of ground on this turn. Murty's Pride is in the lead by about two and a half lengths to Tower Hamlet second, Dollar Bin third. Then Silent Voices, El Centro Barbie, Blossom World. An uptown lady right over on the far side, down this near side, finding Alice. And with Hot Springs winds trying to run on this one and keep the contract. Another one who's almost sticking to the far side fence. Tayside Tiger and Shambri Mulan might be out of it. Finding Alice is also backtracking. I can't see her getting involved in the finish now either as they get down to the fourth last. And Murty's Pride is clear in the lead. From El Centro Barbie and Uptown Lady Wide are the two who are coming through. Down on this near side, Donna Bin is trying to get back into it again as they swing for home. They've still got three to get over, and it's Murty's Pride is in front. Murty's Pride's in front there as they come to the third last. Lands in front. Now four in a line in second. Probably just Donna Bin going best on this near side. The Vinnie Gerard pair are both there with a chance. Hot Springs wins in El Centro Barbie. The grey Uptown Lady for Jim Murray isn't out of it either, but they've still got to get to this Murty's Pride. There's a long run to the second last coming up. They're getting close to it now though and it's Murty's pride in the lead El Centro Barbie over on the far side though he's now beginning to get up and she's immediately challenged by Hot Springs wins as they get over the second last and it's a lead over on the far side El Centro Barbie Murty's pride is trying to fight back Hot Springs wins and Donna Bin next they've only got one more to get over in leg three of the Moors Millions it looks like it could be a vintage on one two as they get into the final fence over it they go and El Centro Barbie is well clear of Hot Springs wins and Donna Bin Murty's pride hanging on to his place in fourth, and that's the way they're going to finish. Then Tower Hamlet took down Lady Blossom World after that. Shambri Moulin was another one to give up the ghost at some point. And Vinnie Gerard has got a couple already then booked in for the final. Which one he puts them in, we'll wait and see. But El Centro Barbie takes that one comfortably. Hot Springs wins second. Both for Vinnie Gerard. Dollar Bin has run a good race for David Robertson in third. Murty's Pride, the long-time leader for John Morgan, fourth. I'm pretty sure those four will qualify. Tower Hamlets for Graham Clutterbuck was fifth. I'm not sure whether fifth does get you in or not. But you can check on the forum to see who the qualifiers are if you just go into the qualifiers section.